my expectations for my garden is ridiculous okay <laughs> I just talked to the lady and she said they do sell veggies so she said i can cut through this first greenhouse somewhere and find it so let's go find some veggies thanks y'all okay they got like plant stuff for your plants they have all kinds of plants in here it smells divine i can tell you that look how nice they have the what's it called tapestry plants here oh my goodness y'all they have everything look they have vegetables Four to six packs for $2.99. Wow. I don't even know. I need like help. Like they got a tomato plant right here. And they got over here. This is a tomatoes celebrity. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna look around some more. Let's see. I guess I need one of these little carts here too, y'all. They got the jalapeno peppers, tomato Roma plum, celebrity tomatoes, grape tomatoes, brandy wine. Oh, what are these? This is like Brussels sprouts. Oh, y'all know I love Brussels sprouts. I might give me some Brussels sprouts, y'all. This is a cheddar cauliflower over here. Okay, okay. I'm super excited. I don't know anything about veggies, but hopefully it tells me. This is zucchini, yellow squash. What's this? Cantaloupe, okra. Y'all know I hate okra. I won't see no okra in my yard. Tomato. Oh, I want the tomato Bella Rosa. I heard those are really good. So I'm definitely going to get one I need. And they're only $3.99. So that's not bad. That's not bad. But. And they have a lot of herbs too. So cilantro, colander. Tomatoes. Hi. So we're gonna wait a few minutes. Jalen's in the shower. She wants me to wait on her. So I just want to show you the tools I got from Fiskers. You know, I use them for crafting. They're very good um, crafting tools. So we have the pruning jigama scissor things, um, which we probably won't need today. But we do have our rake and our trowel so we can dig. <laughs> I'm so silly and put our stuff now today I'm gonna have to use my watering can because I did kill my um what's it called my my hose outside my water hose I ran over with the lawnmower if you guys don't remember and I never got a new one so now that I have my garden I'm definitely gonna have to get a new one and I'm gonna have to get the one with like the little sprayer nozzle thing so we'll do that too um but I don't want to go over there because you know where those pink flowers are all the bees are over there and I don't want to get stung by a bee trying to hook up a hose so I might see if I can get one long enough to hook up in the back because there's a hose thing in the back that we never use and use that one until the bees go away the bees will go away once those flowers fall off but as long as those flowers are there they're there so I'm not trying to get stung and then I have two pair of gloves I found the green ones I don't remember what I did with the blue ones I gotta find the blue ones too because I want to show Jalen how to plant stuff <clears throat> so I'm gonna find the blue ones Wait on her and then we'll see you guys outside. I'm going to move it over there because I don't want to have to move it again. So I think I'm going to leave it. I thought I was going to move it, but I don't want to have to be bothered with like all that pine stuff falling down into it and maybe growing a pine tree <laughs> in here. I don't know how it works, but that's how I feel like it's going to work. So we're just going to keep it like it is now and we'll just see how much sun it gets. And I'll be able to tell tomorrow and kind of keep an eye on it and kind of see how much sun it gets throughout the day. And just like write it down 
so I'll know for sure. I'm just be trying to get y'all positioned so when Jalen gets out here, y'all could see. Jalen finally made it. She had us wait forever. Oh my God. But she's here now so we can fill up our beds. Since she wants to be involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 40 pounds. <laughs> uh, Duxes. Right. Right. You need to start cutting it? Yeah, like you're going to cut it like up here. You might have the scissors upside down. I do? Maybe. Turn the other way. Yeah, like that. Oh. <laughs> the way you, you said upside down. Okay. Like, now, just you should be able to rip it apart now. I don't even know the mosquitoes out. Oh, got a long sleeve. I'm gonna get ate up. For real. Okay. So now, you should be able to rip it. Yeah. Hold mm. <laughs> on, let me help you ass, girl. Yeah! Ooh, look at it. Oh, don't get the scissors in the dirt. Uh, no. uh, oh, it's heavy. Bed is mean. It's not level. I'm gonna make sure it's level too. Yeah, that's definitely what I was gonna say. We're gonna have to unclump this and spread this bag out first. Because mm -hmm. I, I was like, oh, I don't think these clumps are supposed to be in. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put the scissors here. Okay. <laughs> So we're basically trying to get all the clumps out, you guys. Like kind of spreading it out and getting some of the clumps out. But my bed is definitely not level. I forgot about that. It's level like this way was le is leaning towards, it's on a hill. Mm -hmm. Feels like it. So we have to get it level. It says to till it first, but I don't have anything to till this with, so I'm just going to do the best we can. What's that mean? I know. <laughs> you don't know what it means, Lucy. I, didn't I say it said? I didn't say that I knew what it meant. What is that? Mm, that's like the... Seashell? You want like a damn seashell. No, that's like... My, my son's teacher said that's like the stuff that helps mm. it like grow. Oh, is that a rock? I don't know a rock. Anyway. the type of soil I got it's called mushroom compost all natural soil builder but it does say that you can use for vegetable and flower gardens so that's what they suggested at the nursery so hopefully they was right First thing we're gonna pet is called the tomato bella rosa is that gonna focus there we go and it says to do two feet apart and it tells us to trim the bottom thing so when we plant it we need to plant it like up to here so we need mm -hmm. to trim that one and that one and then on yours we need to trim this one and this one okay so we need to get that little thing mm -hmm. you can put it under it So on Jalen's, come a little closer, baby girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna uh, we're gonna trim the two bottom ones with our little clean trimming majigger, <laughs> and then we're gonna go. We're gonna plant them down here. Can y'all see? I'm gonna bring y'all a little closer. And so while I hold it, I'm gonna get Jalen. To use our little tools for the tar, Jay. Mm -hmm. Little tools in my pocket, and I think this is like tilling soil, but I don't know if that. We got a little trial thing. I don't know what to do, y'all, but we go play with it. But anyway, she's gonna dig it. See, that's not enough soil. <laughs> I don't think that's enough soil. <laughs> 
I think I'm gonna put some more soil in here, y'all. It goes down far there. Oh, you need some more soil down there. Mm -hmm. It's uneven. Okay, first of all, we gotta get up. see it's real deep. Okay, we're gonna have to get our soil together first. Wait a minute, we'll be right back. We need another bag. <laughs> Yep. Take two. We actually had to use seven bags. So now, back to the planting. Jenna, get the one that fell over. <laughs> that poor. Yeah. That poor thing. Where's the little cutty thing? Alright. All right. So these already came with tags. So we're just going to use the tag that it came with to put in front of it. We're going to cut off this one. We're going to cut off that one there and we're gonna plant it up like right there so we're gonna need to dig a hole you want to dig the hole yeah okay so Jalen's gonna dig the hole not too close to this probably like right there mm -hmm. all right okay let's see uh, let's see how far I'm close okay all right so then you want to to take it out put that down mm -hmm. you're gonna turn it mm -hmm. And kind of squeeze this until it glides out. Okay. So hold it there. Yep. There you go. All right. Mm -hmm. And then that's all the roots. And then you're going to take the roots and like loosen them up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep. You gentile. In front of the camera. There you go. You <laughs> see that? There you go, because we want it to know that it, we want it to grow in the new dirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to stick it down in there. Yeah, let me get it. Ooh, that's perfect. Look at you. Okay, and then I'm going to hold it and you just put the dirt on it. Oh, yeah, that's And yay, yeah. tomato plant. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Not too much. Mm -hmm. There we go, y'all. Our first plant is planted. Go, Jaya Yay. All right, so two feet. I think the next one should be like right there. Mm -hmm. So dig that hole and I'll go get it. Oh no, where's our thing at? Oh, here it is. Okay. Our little label. Got to label our plant, y'all. Right. Yeah. Uh-oh, sorry. It's all right. Loosen it up. Okay, yeah, that's it. All right. Here, you want to do that one too? So, uh-uh, you got to do the reach. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Yep, they can see you. There you go. Stick it out in there. All right, you guys. So next, we need to find us some little sticks to put. Mm -hmm. next to it so I'm gonna do that right quick just find something to hold the weight this ain't gonna hold the weight it snaps too easily so we're just gonna use a stick I'm gonna put it like right behind it mm -hmm. or right close to it if we can get it pack it in and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna we only have zip ties right now I know that's probably bad but we're not gonna tie it like super tight and then we're gonna Try to use these sticks to kind of keep it as straight as possible. Pack it into the dirt here. Hold it. So that's how we're going to kind of hold our plants up. But do what you please. Okay. We're using nature. We don't spend enough damn money. <laughs> All right. So next, mm -hmm. we got to research our other ones and see how to plant them. So we'll be back. <laughs> but right now, we got two. I'm excited. Go plant. Go. All right, Jay. Uh, Jayla's doing that one herself and I'm going to find a stick so we're gonna let her do it do we need to like cut them off or oh yeah so see you would cut so keep that but cut everything below that one 
Yeah. Mom, is there something on my hair? It's crazy. It's, it's, it's. Where? Right here. No, it's just your hair. <laughs> Thank you. You probably need to just wash your hair. <laughs> yeah. Flying around me. Oh. Okay. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. I think this one's pretty much Yep, just squeeze it until it pulls out. There you go. Alright. Yeah, be careful when it's squish the roots. It no like that. It no like that. put more dirt at the bottom. I think that's a little too low. Mm -hmm. um, probably needs to sit like, right about there so put some dirt on there. There you go. Now fill it in. In the back. Yeah. Right now kind of like spread it. Yeah. Like right y'all we're just going to put a stick behind this one. So if we need to, you know, do the thing, we can have something to support it. Put the label. Put our label. Oh, yay! Yay! Three plants, y'all. Hey. We sell <laughs> farmers. We sell farmers. <laughs> oh. <Lord. laughs> right, so next, we're planting our cucumber burlets. I don't know why this thing's not focusing, but. Y'all see that? Let's see. That's what it looks like. That's what we're planting next. And Jalen's going to plant those. And I'm going to find two more sticks. You have to remember how small your plant is. So you may not have to go as deep. Okay. Because remember, you want that top part to be sticking out. Mm -hmm. So like more up? You, you, you take it out of it. You'll know. You can't do it while it's in the, the jar. Mm. Take the plant out of the jar and then uh. see. Yeah, take the label. guys this is the garden this morning it's about 10 o'clock so it is getting full sun so that's great so I think for the most of the day it'll get full sun at least for six hours I think that's what's recommended so like I said it's 10 18 I've been checking on the Sun how the Sun moves to make sure but I'm still going to cut this branch down and maybe a couple of these to make sure it keeps getting its full sunlight but everything is planted and hopefully it makes it <laughs> but it looks so good you guys I'm really excited to see what me and Jalen can grow this year oh, the leaf is caught on this one you can see what me and Jalen can grow this year um, I did do some research and unfortunately they said I wasn't supposed to get any plants that already had like fruit or budding on it because is past its prime or whatever but let's just pray that that's not true in this case and that i can actually you know do the fruits of my labor if not i may have to just buy some more plants and replace some if they don't act right or whatever it is because like i said they weren't that expensive so it isn't a big deal but i'm about to get ready to go so i will check on i was just want to give you guys an update on this on the garden <laughs> just got the netting up and I'm just gonna water them 
at the root. Like I said, they may or may not live, but I am new at this. Now, one thing I've heard is they like to be watered under the leaves, not necessarily on the leaves. So, I'm going to try not to get the leaves too wet. So I was just checking on the garden since I've watered it. That plant right there, remember, it was really limp this morning. But since I watered it, well, this afternoon, since I watered it, it's looking a lot more healthy and not as wilted. So that's a good sign that when I watered it, the roots soaked up all the water in order to replenish the leaf. Because before it was like hanging. I'll try to put a shot so you guys can see what it looked like before. So that amount of water today really helped it out so that's a really really good sign i've been kind of studying all of these types of plants that i've bought just to kind of get a feel of what they're supposed to look like when you're supposed to like do certain things or prune them or do something else so i've been looking into that and everything is looking basically looking good so hopefully we can get some fruit soon so yeah, I'm obsessed. As you can tell with my garden, I'm out here pretty much all the time now. So I won't be putting this in every vlog. I promise I'm going to have gardening vlogs. So you guys won't see every vlog me talking about gardening. But you know, when you start new stuff, you just become obsessed with it. So forgive me. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> guys, I'm back from the book club. And the first thing I do, put on my gardening clothes. Because I'm going to actually go out here and just check on the garden. Maybe give it a little bit of water. I think I'm kind of... I'm not watering it, over watering it. I don't think. But I may or may not water it. I'm just depending on how the leaves look. And then I need to get my garden soil out. Because I want to plant these herbs that I'm trying to grow. And then I want to plant that cabbage plant. And one of these things. So I'm just going to come out here and check it. Okay. The leaf is looking much better. So it definitely has to be the sun that is making it hot and wilted like that. So I'm definitely going to have to buy me a, what do you call it? A shade cloth. But every one that I was looking at Home Depot and Lowe's, you have to order them. It's like they don't, why would you not keep a shade cloth inside of the Lowe's and Home Depot during garden season? So yeah, so tomorrow I'll probably come back out early and put like my sheet over it because that's all I'm going to have for now. Y'all, there's mosquitoes over here. I got to spray. I got to get my stuff. So it's looking good. I'm thinking that some of these leaves are looking brown on this smaller tomato plant. And if so, I'm going to pick them off because they might have hit the ground or something. So, you know. They say if it hits the, if the leaves hit the soil, it like can get diseased and it'll start turning colors. And that's exactly what these two are doing. So I think I'm going to pluck these off. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. And I'm trying to see, do I need to plant this thing a little bit deeper? Cause this feel like this is where the root's going to come up at. I can't really tell yet. They're looking like, and this one has like little, so you see these little, I don't think I got, I think I have to have that on the micro version for you guys to see, but right here, these little flowery things, this is where they say the tomatoes come from. They have to get like pollinated. But this one already looks like it's dying. So I don't know what that means. Um, but I don't see anything else like that on any of these other ones. So I've been kind of like watching YouTube videos to say what it looks like, like right before the tomatoes come on. Like this one has two little, two of those little flowering things here. As you can see. So yeah, but my soil is pretty much 
damp. I don't want to water it no more. I'm not going to water it no more because I'm afraid I'm going to overwater them. And then I'm not going to like it. And then these have something. Looks like they're trying to come out. So we'll just see how this goes. And I was trying to see if these were getting bigger. This actually looks like it's bigger than when I originally saw it. So I'm kind of like come out every day and like just look at it and see that it grow. To me it looks like it grown some. This one doesn't look like it's grown any. But and I don't see any more. Oh, there's one right here that's about to bud. It looks like. So this is what they look like right before they bud. This little one right here. And so hopefully it'll get pollinated and it'll start a pepper. That'll be dope. We'll have two peppers. This one doesn't have another little pollinating thing on it yet so hopefully it'll get but I see I see two of them growing so hopefully it'll grow I might have to cut some of these leaves off at the bottom but we'll see and then like I said these are the what do you call those things squash I think these two leaves at the bottom I'm gonna have to prune because they're turning yellow so I'm gonna go watch a video in the house and see if the squash leaves are turning yellow am I supposed to like prune them off if so I will and then we'll prune those off this one's still really tiny I think this one has a bug on it is that a bug I think so get off of my plant bug oh y'all can't even see me it's a bug you have to check under the leaves for like bugs and stuff so yeah but yeah, this one's doing really well. This one, I think I can cut this bottom one off because it's looking real suspect. So we're going to get rid of that one. And it's so bad, I live in the woods, I just throw the leaves <laughs> on the ground. So they don't need water and I'm not going to water it anymore today. But I think this one got a little sunburn on it. So I'm definitely going to have to shield it tomorrow because we don't have time to be having stuff sunburned if it keeps turning I'm gonna snip it off so it doesn't continue to mess up the rest of the plant yeah I've been watching videos on plants non-stop like the particular ones that I have I've just been watching videos all about the Bella Rose all about the crookneck squash all about the Red Bull pepper like specifically on what I have I've been watching videos I feel like I should have buried this to here and if so, we might have to build some dirt up around this one. Because I feel like they said this one is spiky like this. This is where the, the new roots are going to come out. And if I start seeing like white little things pop up on this, then I'll know that's where the roots are coming out. And that means I don't have it down far enough. So I'm going to have to fix that there if so. But yeah, y'all, I'm learning. I Listen here, when I get obsessed about something, I am going to do all the research I can do. All the research I can do. So I think we're good on this front. You guys, it's almost noon. It's like 11. And I'm just coming to check on the garden. You see how it's wilting? Last night in the cool heat, it wasn't wilting down like that. So thinking it's getting too much sun um you guys i put this sheet over it i'm not really sure how much is this still considered sun if the sheet is over it i don't really know it says full sun but i know this is not a shade cloth but i got a shade cloth on order but i'm just trying not to burn up my leaves or get them like sunspots like these. See, they're getting hot. So I'm just going to do that today and kind of see how it goes and do some more research. But I just have this sheet on here that I was going to give away to Hannah Home. Fits perfect because I have a, I use, I have a queen size bed. So this should work. So we'll just keep an eye on it. And just, you know. Let it get sun, but not all the sun in the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Okay, it's not focusing through the net, but yeah. 
That's what we're looking like today. All right, you guys, I'm home from work. I wasn't able to stalk my garden today, <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It looks basically the same. It got a lot of rain today because it rained for at least a couple of hours. So it did. So the thing looks fine from the rain or whatever. So I didn't have to cover it up from the heat today. So hopefully the rain will give my baby some boosts or whatever. They're still looking exactly the same. I don't see any difference. They're not any bigger. This little flower down here did open up. So I'm trying to see if it's about to create a pepper or not. I don't know how you know if it's going to create a pepper or not. But I think it's trying to get the little pollen in it to do it. This one looks a little bigger, but I can't tell. Does it look bigger to y'all? It looks bigger to me. And then this one has a... Is that a bug? Oh, no. That's not a bug. But it's like little petals in here from that tree above it. So I've been trying to like check them out and get them out so that it doesn't like grow a tree in here or something so i need to cut that down but i ain't really gonna be able to stop that because of course the wind blows and stuff is gonna fall in here because it's just a net um the spiders are already trying to make a nest here like that's just too much going on here but anyway this is what they're looking like today so maybe hopefully this rain gave them some boost i can see where some white edges are coming up on them from them possibly you know getting a little burnt a little sunburn but hopefully they won't die from a little a little sunburn i keep thinking this one's bigger every day does it not look bigger to y'all i feel like it's bigger i need to measure this bad boy it looks a little bigger today than it did yesterday this one's not growing so i wonder if something's wrong with it or if i'm just imagining that that one's growing overnight i'm gonna have to go back and look at some old videos i feel like it's growing I feel like it wasn't that big. And I feel like this one's the same size. But, you know, I could be imagining things because I would want them to grow fast so bad. But, yeah, so I don't need to water it anything. So that's a good thing. So we'll just pull the cover back down. And tomorrow I'll come back out and, like, cover it up a little bit so it doesn't get too much sunburn on it. My little netting system is actually working really, really well. I have no problems with anything so far. Everything seems to be obeying. So here's that pepper again. I feel like this pepper is getting bigger. I really, really do. And I'm going to have to go back and check my videos. Because to me, it seems like it's gotten bigger. And that one doesn't seem like it's gotten any bigger. But I can't really tell. Y'all tell? And then this is how big this one is. So we're going to keep an eye on these. And I don't believe that one's gotten any bigger either. But I'm going to start looking at these every day. Taking a little video to see if they've grown any. When I come out here. Alright you guys. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning. I just dropped Jalen off at the bus stop. This is what the garden looks like. I forgot it was going to be down to 40 last night. But it looks like it didn't hurt my plants any. You know, tomato plants don't like the cold. So, I meant to cover it up with a sheet, but I completely forgot. But it, they don't look like they're wilting dying. So, hopefully, they don't. Uh, it's still wet on the roots at the top because of the rain yesterday. So, I shouldn't have to water today at all. That's what it's looking like today. There's nothing budding, nothing doing anything. <laughs> Why are you not doing anything? Uh, my expectations for my garden is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> and see, doesn't that pepper look bigger? I don't know, y'all. I feel like these peppers are getting bigger. Or is it me? Like, look at that. Is that bigger than yesterday? I don't know. It looks like it, y'all. It really does. I need another pepper. How do you know when another pepper going to grow? But anyway, this is what they look like, y'all. Me and my garden obsession. <laughs> I probably need to stop coming out here every day. <clears throat> 
I probably will. That one right there, I'm trying to see if it's gonna form a pepper or not, that little flower right there. But I can't really tell if it's gonna do one or not. Mm, I don't know. Hopefully the code didn't kill it. And it's gonna form a pepper soon. Oh, sorry. Oh, right, guys, I'm back checking on the garden. So I have read that I picked this bell pepper off of this plant. I've read that if the plant is not its full maturity and it starts doing fruit, it's going to grow really, really slow. So you should pick the fruit off. So this one's pretty much full grown. So I picked it off. So maybe now it'll do what it's supposed to do. Sorry. Darn bee keep bothering me. Um, now for the bell peppers, it says the same thing, but this bell pepper, I went back and checked my videos and my pictures and this one's actually growing. So I think I'm going to leave that one there. I think it said it will stunt the growth of it, but I don't want to pick it. But this one hasn't grown from my, from what I can see. So I'm going to pick this one off and see if we can start the regrowth of the plant without having to try to get this one to grow and i already picked that little flower off too because it says you should pick the flowers off until at least it's tall enough and this one's not tall enough to do anything so it says i should pick them off and so i am so i picked this one off this one's pretty much ready to eat i think this is a hot pepper we're gonna find out i think this one's hot though and then this is just a little baby bell pepper. They say as long as they're green, they're ripe. But I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> but we are going to, you know, let this one sit on here. Let's just see how it turns out. Like I said, it's my first garden. Everything's not going to go as it should. So we're just going to let them be. I'm just going to use this one as a spearmint. So I took that one off. And we're just going to see if this is going to help this one grow. Um, trying to see the... The soil is still pretty moist from the rain, so I'm not going to give it any more water. Definitely don't want to overwater it, but I'll probably give it some water tomorrow. It's still pretty damp on the surface, so it shouldn't need any more water, but that's what I'm going to do today. Um, of course, there's no changes since this morning. Everything is pretty much still moist, like right under here, super wet. So I'm not giving it any more water. I do need to go get me some kind of fertilizer or something to, you know, boost it. It says it needs the nitrogen when it's first in these stages. So I'm going to go and see if I can find some kind of nitrogen fertilizer. Been doing my research, of course, but this is how it's looking, you guys today this afternoon because you saw it this morning and so i picked those off so let's see if this one will start sprouting up some more getting taller let's hope this one gets a little taller that one may not because i'm gonna leave that fruit on there but we'll see the only problem i have now is spiders are always on my nets when i come out in the morning they be making a nest so see there's a spider up there I hope you guys can see it right there and there's another spider right there like they're making a home in my nest which is annoying but i am outside so this one i cut that pepper off it looks like it's gotten bigger already since i don't have to deal with that pepper this one's not grown any i'm not going to water it today because it's actually going to start raining in a couple of hours so i don't want it to be over watered so it'll be rained on it today so it'll get plenty of water this one right here is kind of not knowing what it wants to do i need to get a zip tie for it I don't have one yet but anyway to show you what i was talking about so this one right here if you look i'm going to try to zoom in i don't want to really touch it but if you look under there y'all see that tomato forming that green thing is a tomato. So the little flower bud is dying. And now there's a little, a little tomato forming. Y'all see it? I think y'all can see it. So it's a little tomato. I'm excited. So I don't know if it's supposed to be this tall 
to start a tomato or not? I need to make sure. If not, I need to cut it off. Um, and hopefully that one will start a tomato soon. But that one's definitely starting a tomato. Super excited. I don't see any tomatoes on any of the other ones. No flowering. This one actually has some. Oh, sorry. It's too close. My bad. This one actually has a couple of flowers on it right there but they're not they're open so maybe they'll start making tomatoes soon but i don't see anything else this one doesn't this one has one little flower right there that just started flowering but don't see any anywhere else and then this one looks like it's about to get some flowers right there so i'm gonna have to see should i prune them off does this thing need to be taller than this like, see, it's not even as tall as those over there, but it's a different kind of tomato plant, too. So, I don't know how tall it gets. See? Look at this freaking spider. They're everywhere. But, yeah. So, I'm about to put my lawnmower up and get ready for the party. But, I just wanted to show you guys what the garden was looking like today. And, like I said, I'm not going to water it today because it's going to rain soon. So, it'll get plenty of water in just a minute.